Hi, welcome to Free. Today we are going to talk about IELTS versus TOEFL. Which one should you take? Many people ask this question and I'm here to give you the answer. The answer is it depends. It depends, sorry, you have to make that decision depending on, according to me, four main factors, uh, four important factors. Um, the first one is your current level of the score you need. Um, the second is your academic background, kind of and the kind of English you speak. The third is the format of the exam. And fourth is the length of the exam. We're going to talk about all four. First, your current level. You want to apply to university in an English-speaking country or an English-speaking program. So they ask you for a minimum score. Um, let's say if you want to apply for an undergraduate program, uh, you just went out of school, high school, uh, they'll ask you maybe in IELTS for a 5, maybe in TOEFL for a 70 or an 80. It depends on the progress or maybe lower scores. Um, you will need uh, a minimum of an intermediate level of English for something like that. So if you do not have that level, then drop it. Really, stop watching this video. Uh, go and study English because you will waste your time and your money uh, taking an exam that you uh, won't get the score you need. Uh, so don't also think that if you are basic, you are going to go to intermediate in a month. That doesn't happen unless you are the exception to the rule. Okay, so I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying it's uh, more difficult than that. But I don't want to say difficult because it's not difficult. It just uh, takes longer to learn a new language. Okay, so, uh, but if you are applying, for example, to a uh, graduate program, they'll ask you for a higher score. Sometimes in IELTS, they'll ask you for a 6 or 7 in TOEFL for a 90 or a 100. For those scores, you will need an advanced level of English. If you don't have that level, I recommend you to study English and don't think that in three months you're going to get the level. Uh, the, the, don't study for the exam. Study English because if you really want to study at that English-speaking university, you will need to master the language, to feel confident speaking in the language, listening to the language, reading in the language, writing in the language. So study English, okay? That's my recommendation. If you want to waste your time and your money, well, do it. Okay, uh, the second factor you have to take into consideration is your uh, background and the, the English you speak also because for IELTS, for example, in the listening part mainly, you will hear British accents and uh, in TOEFL you will hear uh, American accents. They do have a variety of accents, but in TOEFL mainly it's American and in IELTS you will hear British, basically. So maybe that's an important point for you. And the academic background is also important because in TOEFL, for example, you uh, everything is set in a campus you know, an academic life. So if you're not familiar with academic life, that might be uh, a little bit more challenging for you. But if you are familiar with how the universities work in general, then you won't have problems with that. Also, the kind of subjects they talk about is basically science, biology, a lot of biology in TOEFL. So if you uh, have that background, maybe that is the exam for you. Uh, on the other hand, the IELTS uh, has more general setting, so not necessarily everything is at the university. It can be at a restaurant or at a park or any anywhere. And then the academic parts, uh, it also has a variety of subjects, but it also goes to science, to, to animals and psychology. So that background is important. Remember, these are academic exams, so they ask you for an academic setting. Uh, it's uh, sometimes difficult for people who are more into uh, administration or economics because you maybe don't have too much contact with science or psychology. Um, but unfortunately, this is what they talk about or they, they, they present us. 
Then um, a third factor, very important one, is the format of the exams. TOEFL is an exam that is internet-based. Uh, everything is on screen. The readings are on screen. You have to click, drag, etc. And uh, in, you have to type your answer in the writing. You have to record your voice into a recording device on a computer. So if you are familiar with that, then that's the exam for you, maybe. And on the other hand, the IELTS, well, it's a classic exam. You need a pencil, you read all the, uh, the readings there on the paper, uh, you answer on an answer sheet. Maybe you have taken many of those exams. That is one for you. In the writing, of course, you have to write with your pencil. In the speaking, you speak to a person. That might be also an uh, important point for you. I don't know. And uh, so both are very, very different. Another important point is uh, the length. Uh, the TOEFL exam is a little bit longer. Uh, it's like they have like an hour difference in length. And well, although they both are long, because I'm not gonna lie, they are long exams, exhausting exams. In TOEFL, you have the first part um, reading and listening, it takes two hours. Then you have a 10 minute break and then speaking for about 10 minutes and writing for an hour. So it's almost four hours that you're going to spend taking that exam. On IELTS, on the other hand, uh, the speaking exam is on a different moment. Here, for example, it's on a different day. So those uh, uh, 15 minutes, those 20 minutes are going to take place um, separately. The day of the most part of the exam is going to be uh, reading, listening, and uh, writing. So it will be almost three hours, uh, a little less than that. So maybe for you, it will be important to take into consideration that the length of uh, these exams. So let me know which point is more important for you, which exam have you decided to take? Which one do you want to take? Or which one have you already taken? Are you willing to take the other one? Because the point is that many times people take the exams more than once. So don't feel um, embarrassed about that because it happens to a lot of people. Well, let me know what you think. Subscribe and then we'll have a video explaining more in depth each part of the exams. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and see you soon. Bye.